Switch! After you're done playing the new 70 hour plus Zelda game, you might be looking for a game where you can explore and maybe do some fishing. Well, I can recommend this game, as long as you don't mind a sad story and occasionally being attacked by monsters. I normally don't like fishing simulators, and luckily, this is not one. Unless I missed the part the last time I went fishing, where all you have to do is play a mini game and catch some of the biggest fishes. This has you playing as a new fisherman, who's been sorta given a rundown boat. They still make you pay for it, but the cost is so low, they make you wonder why they even bothered. I guess they want to make sure you master selling fish. It's really not that hard since all you have to do is press one button to sell all. The atmosphere that you're playing in is not a fun one. And I mean that in the story sense. The overall story is a little depressing. Don't expect any quirky characters or goofy situations. This game has a very dark tone and it does not let up. Your main objective is to fish, upgrade your boat, and repair it when needed. I do like the way the game makes me feel when I upgrade my boat. Like for example when I upgraded my motor. And you can feel the slight difference in speed. Now you have very limited space in your hold of your ship for the equipment that you need to fish. So you're going to need to upgrade your hull as soon as you can so you can have more room. Because your fishing rods, your light, your motor, anything you might need for fishing takes up the space that you would use to hold the fish. So it's a balancing game trying to figure out how much room you have for fish. In order to upgrade your ship, you're going to need to find parts in order to upgrade it. And you do this in special areas where you can dredge up wood and metal and other things you might need. But it does make you wonder why you'd ever want to use parts that were at the bottom of the sea. You would think it'd be ruined. Now there is a day and night cycle when you're moving your boat or fishing. The time advances very quickly and you're going to need to be back in port or at least a safe place by nightfall or you might start to go crazy. So you're always going to need to be looking out for your sanity meter. Nighttime has new kinds of fish to catch, but when you're out there, you not only have to look out for the monsters, but rocks as well, which will just pop up and really break your ship. If you do end up getting damaged, it may end up costing more to fix the ship than your hull would have got you. Now, the whole map is broken down into zones, but you can't technically go anywhere, but it's doubtful you'll go to the wrong area as your ship would get destroyed by it being too far away or not having the right equipment. As you finish the area storyline, you're going to get an upgrade to your ship, which will help you in the next area, whether it be a speed boost or monster repellent. Speaking of monsters, they get more and more annoying in the parts you go to. Sometimes the way they had you interact with them was more like a puzzle, and I liked that. But what I didn't like was when they would just randomly show up and destroy my boat. I guess if I really want a lighthearted boat exploration game, I should just go play Rainbow Billy again. There are monsters in that too, but nothing will ever kill you. Thankfully, it seems like the creators might have seen a need for a reprieve from the monsters, as they are going to add a toggle in the options to tone down the monsters bothering you in future your updates. Speaking of the options, there are a few to make your game a little bit easier, like making the mini game so you can't lose. It just takes longer. Dredge is a good game. The story is a bit depressing and it has a very serious tone. However, exploring the world and fishing in it was very entertaining. Now this is $24.99. I do think that's a bit much. You should wait for it to go on sale, maybe like $5 less. While I did enjoy my time with it, the dark tone was just a bit much for me. If you love exploration games, this one will scratch that itch. But I still say wait for it to go on sale.